G'day, Teeth here from PickingLessons.com. This is the second part of linking double stops with our scales and arpeggio positions, all in the one position on the mandolin. We've got two more double stop shapes we're gonna learn and another scale position and arpeggio as well that will stack on top of what we learn in the first part of this lesson. This is lesson five also in the Mandolin Essentials uh, series at PickingLessons.com where we cover topics that are really important to playing the mandolin, like some keys that you may not be so familiar in and in this lesson, of course, double stops and how we can link those with scales. So the example break you just heard, that's using these uh, positions and double stops that we'll be working on. But to get us going though, we're gonna have a look at the two double stops and have a look at our first scale position just to show you how we're gonna link them together. So our first double stop is actually, we're in G, we're just gonna use G as these examples and they're all movable. So once we learn them, we can shift them to any other key in any other chord. So this first G double stop we have here, our uh, first finger there is at the fifth fret on string two, that's a D and then our third finger there is on the B, which is the third note in the chord. So a major chord is built with the first, third, and fifth notes of the scale, and we're using our third and fifth notes in this double stop. So fret five, fret nine. Our second double stop is a fifth and the root note, so the root note in the fifth, and that's at fret five, and we can just use one finger to hold that down. So that's root note on the bottom G, and then D on top there, the fifth note of the chord. So double stop number one, and number two. We're gonna use both of those in the example when we get to it later on. Now, the scale that we're gonna be using that fits around these two double stop positions is just a pentatonic scale to start with that really does just fit inside those double stops. So this is the pentatonic scale, starting on G there, fret five up to the G note, just the two string pattern. Fret five, fret seven, fret nine, change strings, fret five, fret seven, and fret 10, up to the G. So that's a nice compact position there. Now bear in mind our double stops are right there. And that's really where we're gonna focus. So double stop, Double stop, pentatonic scale. This position we've just learned for G is movable. So as we move through different chords and in different keys, we can shift it around. For example, if I wanted to play an F, I would just move down to the third fret. Here's our scale. Here's the double stops. As you can see there, very compact. I don't have to move my hand once I'm in that position. And that's the whole um, uh, idea in this lesson is that we're working in a position, the double stops and the scales link together. And we'll look at some examples in that uh, break you heard at the beginning of this video. And we'll break that down and just look at how the scales and the double stops do fit together. We'll be incorporating what we learned in the first part of this lesson as well. So head over to pickandlessons.com. We'll continue on looking at some scale and arpeggio patterns to fit this, uh, these two double stop positions there and look at how we can blend over the three strings so that we get the three string pattern of this pentatonic scale. We'll look at the major blues scale as well. Uh, of course, we'll break down that uh, example break all at pickandlessons.com. I'll see you there.